Hey everybody, welcome to another of Happy Gamers Internet Videos. This time, Astra Militarum. Orders. Orders. We got a lot of new orders here. I'm just going to give them straight to you. We're going to, and we're going to add the fluff from the orders too, because I like it. Me likey. So, Astra Militarum orders. First, take aim. Aiming carefully, the officer bids his men steady themselves and recall page 109 from Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer, the Litany of Accuracy. The ordered unit must make a shooting attack. When resolving this shooting attack, all models in the ordered units have the precision shot special rule bam that's gonna be nice suddenly those large 20 model units will be kinda scary to people next smite at will the officer gives his men free reign to fire their weaponry when and where their shots will be most effective the ordered unit must make a shooting attack when resolving this shooting attack the ordered unit has the split fire special rule. Boom! How much can you say about that? Next, first rank fire. Second rank fire. Now, some of you who watched some of my previous White Dwarf videos where I talked about the Tempestus Platoon may have heard me mention it. There are a few naysayers out there who said I was full of swag. Guess what? Allow me to read it to you, specifically. The ordered unit must make a shooting attack. When resolving this shooting attack, all models firing with LAS guns or hot shot LAS guns fire one additional shot. Read between the line, haters! <laughs> I love it. Two shots with hell was Nice, nice stuff. Forward for the Emperor. The officer commands his men to grit their teeth, open fire, and advance towards the enemy lines. The ordered unit must make a shooting attack. Once this shooting attack has been resolved, the ordered unit must run. Even through a unit it cannot normally shoot and run in the same phase. Everybody shoots and runs. Nice. Next. Move, move, move! The officer exhorts his troops to sprint forward their, towards their objective, be it a point of strategic importance or shelter from incoming enemy fire. Heads down and las guns held close, the squad dash across the battlefield with all possible haste. The ordered unit must run. When determining how far the unit runs, roll three dice and use the highest result. Bam. Next, suppressive fire. The officer exhorts his troops to rain fire upon the foe, forcing the enemy to keep their heads down lest they lose them altogether. The ordered unit must make a shooting attack. When resolving this shooting attack, all weapons in the ordered unit have the pinning special rule. Nice. Nice suppressive fire there going on there. I especially want to see how that's going to work with flamers, and fun, but that's another video. Bring it down! Enemy war machines and alien monstrosities are equally high priority targets for the commanders of the Imperial Guard. Bring it down can only be issued by a model with the senior officer special rule. That means no Tempestus Prime. The ordered unit must make a shooting attack. When resolving this shooting attack, all models in the ordered unit have the tank hunter and monster hunter, sorry Tyranids, special rules. 
<laughs> Fire on my target. Assisted by targeting matrices or just a good pair of magnoculars, the officer gives his men the coordinates for a pinpoint fusillade. Fire on my target can only be issued by a model with the senior officer special rule. Again, no Tempestus Prime. The ordered unit must make a shooting attack. When resolving this shooting attack, all weapons in the ordered unit has the ignores cover special rule. <laughs> it's going to be a brilliant. I like this army already. I mean, I, I, I haven't even looked at the units yet other than the ones I made videos on, and it's already got three thumbs up. I know. You can't see the third one. Uh, get back in the fight. <clears throat> More afraid of death by summary execution than of the foe, the fleeing squad steals themselves for more. Get back in the fight can only be issued by a model with the senior officer special rule. Unlike other orders, get back in the fight can only be issued to a unit that is falling back or that has gone to ground. And that's very important. That has gone to ground because that's something you choose to do. You don't wait to fail a roll to see if you go to ground. And of course, they think you can just, somebody shoots at you, you go to ground, and then you can issue this order. <clears throat> okay. The ordered unit immediately regroups if falling back, but it does not make a three inch move. If the unit has gone to ground, the effects of going to ground are immediately canceled. Instead, in either case, the ordered unit can get, can act, shoot, run, charge, etc. normally for the remainder of the turn. <coughs> So basically, get back into the fight. This allows you to be shot at, go to ground, get your cover save, and then afterwards, say, get back into the fight, and it's as if you've never gone to ground. Which is, which is, which is quite awesome. I'm, I think we're going to see a massive use of this tactic in future games, which I'll probably make a whole other video on, just in case somebody doesn't watch this far. That is a brilliant special rule. And when you get to the Warlord traits where you roll on a six and you're able to issue two orders in a turn, that's two units doing this. Very nice. I look forward to seeing you again. Until next time.